Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a table runner with an applique flower pot using yo-yos as the flowers. So let's take a look at this really pretty table runner. Okay, isn't this gorgeous? Now, I've used yellow fabric for the back. It's a very pale yellow and it's got a little bit of a flower design all over it. The top of the table runner is just one long piece of fabric and I've rounded the edges down here. Now the flower pot has got two different fabrics on the flower pot and there's three leaves here. These are machine applique on and then I've got three yo-yos. Two of the yo-yos are large and then there's a smaller one. And I've used these pretty little buttons in the center to kind of top it all off. Really easy project to make, okay? Looks really great. All right, let me go over what you need to have cut out. Okay, so here is a picture or a drawing of the flower pot, okay? Here we go, and I'll go over the details of this later. So if you have a cell phone, go ahead and put the video on, pause and take a snapshot of this. And then here is the cutting instruction. So take a snapshot of this so you know what you need to cut out. All right, I'm gonna quickly go over some of this. All right, the fabric uh, for the table runner itself, the top fabric, the bottom fabric, and the cotton batting are all 13 inches wide by 61 inches long. Now for the flower pot, there, uh, the fabric for the bottom is a six by six inch square and the rim cut a strip about two and a half inches by six, okay? Then for your leaves, you're just gonna need one strip long enough for, oh, about three and a half inches wide by 18 inches, and that should give you enough fabric to cut your leaves out. Then your yo-yos, you're gonna cut your circles. One set is gonna be four and a half inches in diameter, and the others are five and a half inches in diameter. Now, if you don't know how to make a yo-yo, watch my video how to make a yo-yo for sewing instructions they're quick and easy to make and your other supplies you're going to need six one inch uh, in diameter buttons and then you're going to need your uh, iron-on two-sided fusible webbing okay all right so let's go over the templates that you need to make for the flower pot Okay, design. Now, the leaf here is two and a half inches long by one inch wide. And then the flower pot is three and a half inches at the bottom and five inches at the top. And the height is four inches. And then one inch from, one and a half inch from the top down to here. This is where your rim fabric will go. So this dash line is important. So you want to indicate one and a half inches in here. This is where the rim fabric will go. This is the template for the circles. These two templates here, four and a half inch and five and a half inch. Now I usually make my templates on poster board or maybe you've got some cardboard sitting around your house that you could use to create your templates on. Okay? All right, so let's start creating the flower pot. Now, if you have never done machine applique and you are already getting lost on what I've been talking about, watch my video, Machine Applique Lesson 1 for complete detailed instructions on how to use your fusible webbing and it also explains to you about decorative stitching that you would need to know. All right, so to make the flower pot, take your six inch square and place your strip of fabric on one side for the rim and pin and stitch a quarter inch across here. Then press it with your iron, open it up and press again. Now, here's my fusible webbing. 
All right, I've already drawn my little dash line on there. So turn over your fabric and then make sure that you remove the back of your fusible webbing so you have that sticky tacky side there. You're going to take this line and line it up on the stitch line. Okay, once you have it lined up, then finger press it down all over, real good. Then go ahead and cut it out. Okay, now your leaves. These are even simpler. Again, place it on the back side, place your leaves down, Take the, remember to remove the back fabric so you have that sticky side, finger press it down, and then cut it out. Okay? Remember, you're going to cut out six of these. All right, so now that you've got your pieces cut out for your applique pattern, take that top piece of fabric for your table runner, and you're going to go to one end, okay? And you're going to place your flower pot down on here, okay? So place it down on, down here. Remember, now you need to remove that grid line side. Remember this part here? You need to remove that off. Then place it down here, your fabric. Sticky side down. Place the bottom of the pot two and a half inches from the lower edge of the table runner. Once you've got it centered across this way, then finger press it down. Now don't put your leaves on just yet. Just pretend the leaves aren't here. Take your flowers, your yo-yos, and arrange them how you think you'd like them to appear. Okay? Just play around with them till you get it to what you like. Then take your applique leaves and lift up your flowers and temporarily place the first one. Then go and place down the second one and third one. Once you have everything arranged the way you like it, take away your yo-yos and finger press your leaves down. Okay? Now you're going to go to your iron and permanently fuse this on. So get a damp cloth. Remember, follow the instructions on the package of your fusible webbing. Place your damp cloth over this. Then place your iron down. Remember, it's a hot iron set on cotton with steam. And hold it down. My instructions say 15 seconds. Always follow what yours say. Now you may have to lift the iron up and place it another uh, again somewhere else to, to cover the entire area. All right, once you have it all fused down, it's permanent now. You can't take it off. If you try to take it off, it will be a mess. All right, so it's there. Now place your stabilizer behind. Now I'm using paper. You can use tearaway stabilizer. Either one will work just fine. Okay? Then you're going to do your decorative stitching. Now, do the flower pot first and start at the edge of the leaf. If one of your leaves is hanging over the pot like this, start up against the leaf, not on the leaf, right next to it, and go around the pot. And then stop at the edge of the leaf. Then Change your thread for the leaves if you're going to use a different thread and go ahead and do your applique stitches on all three leaves. Now the yo-yos are not going on yet. They will be the last thing to put on. All right? So remember, you're making two flower pot designs. Now take all of your fabrics you need for the table runner itself. Now I'm making a miniature version because it's easier to, to show the smaller size on camera than a five foot table runner. So I'm going to use dark thread so that you can see where I'm stitching. All right, so place your cotton batting down first, then your backing fabric. And I'm just using a plain cream fabric. If you're going to use a fabric that has a print on it, 
have the print side facing up. Then take your top fabric and have the right side of it facing down. Okay? Then start pinning the lengthwise side on both lengthwise side. Leave an opening only on one side for your hand to go through later to turn it right side out. So I usually place my hand down and then I'll put a pin one and a half inches or so out on each side of my hand, okay? Then after you've pinned the two sides, now I'm gonna show you how to round your corners. As you can see, I've already drawn a line there, but I'm gonna show you how I did that. Take anything round from your kitchen, a small bowl, a round plate, uh, a little lid from something, something that's round, and place it down and push it till both sides of it hit the edges here. Then put your hand on top of the object and draw a line. Then you can cut it out. Now what I do is, because cutting with scissors is really hard for me, I use a rotary cutter. So if you're real brave, use your rot rotary cutter to go around. You want to do this on all four corners. Okay, now go to your opening and you're going to start stitching on this side here. You're going to come in a half an inch from the raw edge, stitch back and forth, and stitch all the way around the entire runner. When you get to here, your last pin, stitch back and forth a few times. Remember, don't stitch over your opening just yet. Okay, after you've done your stitching, then you're gonna cut some more of the fabric off. You wanna leave about a fourth of an inch, maybe slightly less here. So I've drawn a little line. You so cut it off, either with a rotary cutter or your scissors. Do this at all four corners so that it looks like this, okay? Now, go to your opening and you're going to reach inside and turn it right side out. So lift up the top fabric, okay? And reach in between the top fabric and your bottom fabric here, okay? Reach inside and begin pulling the table runner right side out, okay? Now, now that you've got it right side out, you wanna fold your opening in a half an inch and then pin it down. Then you wanna continue pinning around the entire table runner, flattening your edges out. And this is how I do it. Stick a pin in the seam, pull it out like that, press down, and then pin it. Do this all the way around, and then go to your ironing board and press around it to help get those edges nice and flat, all right? Then, you're going to stitch one eighth of an inch from the edge here, all the way around the runner. Then after that, you're gonna do your decorative stitching. And you need to find your center. So you're gonna mark your center line. How you do that is you take the table runner and fold it in half, okay? And place pins at the fold area, right there. That's your center mark. Then, take a long ruler and place one end of it on that center pin and begin placing pins about three inches apart all the way down the entire table runner. Then go over to the other side and do the same thing. Then turn it and do your other side, okay? Three inches apart, all the way down. Then, go ahead and place scatter pins all over the uh, table runner to hold all of the fabric layers together. Now I want you to pretend 
that my flower pot and leaves are laying here. Okay, they're already applique on. The stitching pattern is that you're going to start at the one end down here and you're going to stitch towards this pin up here but don't stitch over the flower pot so stitch up to the flower pot do a few stitches back and forth lift up start here and continue leave your needle down press your foot up turn the table runner and go back and remember to stop at the flower pot don't stitch over the flower pot pick up continue stitching needle down press her foot up turn the table runner again and stitch back and forth all the way down the end now one of the things that will help you to control this five foot table runner is to keep one end rolled up like this and then it's real easy to turn your table runner real easy and as you go down the table runner you kind of roll the other one up and unroll this one now once you get down to the other end pretend I've got that flower pot and leaves down there you're going to do the same thing start up here stitch towards this pin stitch towards this pin and keep going back and forth remember don't stitch over the flower pot and leaves and then you're done with your decorative stitching now let's look at the finished one okay now I didn't use <clears throat> excuse me a straight line I used a wavy line on this one I also used white thread try to use thread that matches your background fabric you don't want the the decorative stitching to overshadow the applique okay so you can use a decorative stitch at if you like now that you've got all your decorative stitching done take your yo-yo flowers and you're gonna place them back where you think you had them okay go ahead and arrange them again then take one of your buttons place it on top okay then you're going to go on the back side of the runner and with a needle and thread with a knot on the end go through the back side of the table runner come up through the center of the yo-yo and through one of the eyes on the button and just keep going back and forth about three times and then tie it off on the back and do all three yo-yos like that okay and let me show you what it looks like with both ends done okay so you can see it's a really really pretty table runner really wonderful for springtime I think you'll have a lot of fun making this well, I hope that that was helpful to you. Now, my next video is going to be a really fun one, and I think it's one that most of us can use. It's a sewing machine organizer. Really easy and fun project to do. Now, to stay informed on all my future videos, click on one of the subscribe buttons. There's one down here in the lower right hand corner. It's red, it says subscribe. It's been floating down there throughout the video. And then towards the end of, end of the video, you might see a round picture of my face floating in this upper left hand corner. Click on one of those and YouTube will prompt you for your email address. Once you enter that information, then the next time I have a new video, YouTube sends you a really short brief email with a big button in the center. You click on it and it takes you directly to my latest video. I'm Cheryl. I'm really glad you came to my sewing room. Now see you next time and happy sewing.